I got brides in Atlanta, she's a good in the family, credit cards in the scammers, getting the licks in the van. The fuck is up? You already know what the fuck time it is. It's another episode of the goddamn nasty sports update. Today, we are sponsored, yet unsponsored, by Netflix. Because all I'm doing is watching movies these days. Let's get into a couple of topics. Bill O'Brien. I think you might have fucked up, pal. Deshaun Watson's not going to be happy with you. Bill O'Brien possi quite possibly is the dumbest coach GM next to Stan Van Gundy. This motherfucker got rid of arguably the best receiver in the NFL for a stick of gum and a cup of coffee. Not even a pack of gum, just one stick, one piece of gum in a cup, gas station coffee at that. Not Starbucks, gas station coffee. Could have made it at home. Could have made that bullshit at the crib. Instead, he went to the gas station, paid 79 cents. Not Speedway, just a local Chevron, a local BP, not Speedway. Told him that the last time he had to have a sit down like he had with 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 DeAndre Hopkins was when he sat down with Aaron Hernandez. The fuck kind of shit is that, bro? After all we know now about Aaron Hernandez, DeAndre Hopkins don't be in the news for nothing except for how he take care of his mom that got that had a horrific accident happen to her where she got the acid thrown on her and had to went blind, um, had to get skin reconstructed surgery on her face. Like, bro, like he didn't grew up in a in in a rough rough times, bro. Like stud in college, graduated college, like, so what that nigga got a couple of baby mamas, and so what that his baby mamas be up there with his kids, bro. He's a fucking NFL superstar. And he motherfucking deserves his money, bro, because he is, I mean, he was, is debatable, but he's top three receiver. If you want to put him at number one, some people do. I think it's Julio, then I think it's him. Like, what the fuck is this nigga talking about, bro? Like, that's that, man, that's that shit, bro, that, that prejudice shit that'll always be in sports because white people think that they can control black people, bro. They think they, they can control us just because we don't grow up and we don't live the standard one wife, two kids, white picket fence lifestyle. We don't live that shit. And y'all don't need the motherfucker. Y'all be out here cheating with men, doing meth, cocaine, hella scandals, little boys. That shit just sad, bro. Like, I mean, I feel bad for Deshaun, but, like, he, I mean, I hope they give him his, this money. You know, he deserves his 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 bread, bro. He's been balling out with a terrible line. Motherfucker be back there getting killed, making anything happen, trying to make something out of nothing because y'all won't protect him. And then you get rid of his best weapon. To bring in a busted up running back. That motherfucker ain't been good since I've been graduated college, nigga. That was in 2015. Five years. Might have been three years ago, but so the fuck was too long, bro. It's long, long ass time ago. I just it I don't I don't get it. You traded, you got rid of Jadavian Crowney. Didn't get any draft picks for it. Didn't get a first round draft pick for it. Then you get you got Laramie Tunsil, but then sign him to a long term contract. You you Brian are a class clown. You're an idiot. You are an idiot. I hope. I hope. You know, y'all figure it out. I know he come from the from the tree, 
the the Belichick tree, but as you can see, most of the niggas from the Belichick tree just ain't good co head coaches. They don't make good head coaches. They be good assistants, great assistants. But him, Matt Patricia, oh, God. Oh, God. It's just like, Sean, prayers up to you, brother. KD got the Roni. My heart belongs to a Roni. Quite possible that that nigga Drizzy got the Roni because they was just together on a private flight. Slept through the flight. Nigga, not for the night. 767, man, I, my shit got double bedrooms. Yeah, y'all was laying in beds next to across from each other. Giving each other that Roni. I don't, man, the world is in a frenzy. I just went to the gas station. Lady handed me my Rellos with gloves on. I put my debit card in a chip reader. She wiped the inside of the chip reader. The world is, it's, it's, it's going crazy. I know this is a sports update, but shit. Only thing I've been watching is old classics from 89. And I wasn't even born. I'm watching football games. These niggas' jerseys worse than the jerseys in the goddamn dicks. Sporting goods. These niggas got on the, the motherfucking free Tayshaun Prince jerseys, ADT joints that they give you at motherfucking the Pistons game. Iron on. Iron arms. You put that bitch in the washer and dry one time. It went from Prince to Ents. Ents. The Ents of the Palace. I don't know, dog. I don't know, dog. This shit is wild. This shit is wild. I mean, Stefan Diggs, out of motherfucking Minnesota. He been wanting to get out of there for a while. Goes to the Bills. Jared Allen's getting some weapons. He's getting some weapons, boy. They trying to do something over there in Buffalo. And... Brady gone, AFC, you know, the AFC wide open. They franchise tag Derrick Henry. I know he's not happy about that. Give Ryan Tannehill $118 million. Wow, Ryan Tannehill been bounced around the league, man. I don't, I don't get it. I don't get it. Dak Prescott get the franchise tag, told them niggas suck my dick. Like, he ain't playing until he get a contract. Now, I guess they was trying to make him the highest paid quarterback, ever, the highest paid NFL player ever. But he said, no, nah, no, nah, son, I need more than that. And I need more guaranteed. Guaranteed. Fuck, fuck the Cowboys. Fuck that nigga, uh, Jerry Jones, Stephen Jones. All them niggas, bro. Like, I love when the Cowboys is in disarray. I don't know, man. I don't know. Hopefully, I'll be able to actually talk about sporting events and not just trades and bullshit soon. But until then, this still is the greatest sports commentary in under 10 minutes. I'll see you next time.